This is Limestock, and in this video we will look at the laws of logarithms. So these are the first three rules to learn below, and we'll give you a few examples of just how they work. Now, it is important to remember that these only work for when a is more than zero and a is not equal to one. So for example, the first one here says that log a to the a, and that's the base there, is that's the base there, and log um, base a, a is equal to one. So for example, if we were to put log 64 to the 64 into a calculator, then that would equal one. Now the next one here says that log base a to the one is equal to zero. Now an example of this, for example, if you were to use say four as a, then we go to log base four one, and that would be equal to zero. And the final one here says log base a to the one over a is equal to minus one, and we'll put say five as a, so log base five to the one over five, so one fifth, and feel free to put any numbers in on your calculator to check all of these work, and that would be equal to minus one. So these are the first three rules that you simply have to learn. So the next three rules you have to learn are slightly uh, more complicated and slightly more used and um, will frequently come up. And I'll just go through each of them now. And the first one is log to the base a and then x times y is also equal to log to the base a x plus log to the base a y. So that's adding, can go to uh, multiplication. Um, then the number two is just the opposite and it's log to the base a of x divided by y can be equal to log to the base um, a to the x minus log to the base a um, to the y. And the final one includes power. So this was probably one of the most frequent ones. And this is log to the base a x to the power of k. And this just means that the k can go right to the front. Uh, so it's k times log to the base a to the x. But in order to put this into some context, we'll now look at a couple of questions. So the first one here includes a few um, things that we can do to it. And we just want to make it into one single logarithm. And the first thing we'll do is use the rule number three. Um, as we have, say that half here is k, then we can put half to the end and make it a power, which would make it log to the four um, to the half. And we can also see that as there is no base, you would just assume that it's 10 as um, all of them are 10 if they've got no base, unless it specifically gives a base. But if we do this, it will go to log four um, to the half, um, and then four to the half is going to be two. So log two. And then this is add. And then again, we've got the two thirds there, so you can say that the two thirds there is k, which means that the k would go up here. So log 27 to the two thirds, and that's equal to log nine. But again, this is where we can use another one of our rules. And now we're going to be looking at rule number one. Um, and this is log a to the x. You can say that two is the x and then y is the nine. So we're just going to do two times by nine. And that's going to be log 18. And that is our simplified answer for that one there. The second one here is slightly harder um, as we have a little bit more going on. Um, but we're going to start off by using uh, this second rule here as we have a, a minus. And they're both for the same base here. They've both got a base of 3. So that means we'll go log 3. And then we'll do some division. So x plus 2 over x. And then the second one, it doesn't really need simplified because um, what we can simply do is just type it in our calculator and see what it equals. And it equals 1.893. Now this is rounded, so it's good to, to store this in your calculator for a little bit as it's that's not entirely accurate. And then what we do here is this is another rule, and I say it's um, left 
uh, right is equal to middle. So if you write it out in this form with a logarithm on the left and then the uh, single number on the right, I say that the left um, to the power of the right is equal to the middle. So that would mean that 3 to the 1.893 is equal to the middle, which is x plus 2 over x. And if you put this in your calculator, you know that this will equal 8. So therefore, that's equal to that. Um, and then we just have to, to simplify it. So if you times everything by x, we'll get 8x is equal to x plus 2. Therefore, um, 7x will be equal to 2. And then x is equal to 2 over 7. So the final question we've got here is 5 to the power of 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 3. Now although this looks fairly simple, it actually goes fairly deep to find out what x is. And the first thing that we're going to do, as this is logarithms, we're going to log both sides. So I'll just put a log there and a log here. Now this means that we need to use our logarithms rules to get it the 3x minus 1 to the front. And this was the third rule if you remember. So 3x minus 1 goes there and then log 5. And that will be equal to x plus 3 and then log 2. And after this we can get the excess on one side. So if we get this here and go for 3x log 5. And then on the other side we have um, an x log 2. So we can do minus x log 2. And then that can equal um, the things that aren't um, logarithms. So 3 log 2 over this side and that will be minus um, the, well, this minus the minus log 5, so add log 5. And that is equal there to the x here. Take the x out and then 3 log 5. minus log 2. Now in order to work out x therefore, x is equal to the um, 3 log 2 plus log 3, this divided by this and you type it in your calculator and the 3 log 2 plus log um, 3 is equal to 1 point six oh two and 
the 3 log 5 minus log 2 is equal to 1.796. Type that in your calculator and you get the answer of 0 0.8. Nine, two. So there we are, that is logarithms, the law of logarithms concluded. Uh, next video we'll start looking at a little bit more uh, logarithms including things like exponential uh, graphs. But for now, see you soon. Um, bye.